So he is one very chilled out Jasper. Hey Jasper. A lovely, lovely Persian boy. Aren't you? Hey. So Jasper has been to us before. And he had a proper lion clip. He had with the bib on and he was left with the pom-pom and his little booties on. And he was ever so good. Very, very well behaved, weren't you, baby? Yes. So, he's come to us today. Look at this little face. He's just enjoying the attention, isn't he? Mm, he's enjoying some attention. So, I mean, the Persians do love fusses. But what's happened? There's been a new baby arrive in the house. About five weeks old. And you can imagine the disruption for this little fella. So from going, um, from having his doting parents to suddenly their energies are focused elsewhere, he's kind of been left wanting, oh you, is what daddy said. He's been wanting attention and some fusses. So I said, we'll give him plenty of fusses while he's here. Make up for it, won't we? Well, is the baby there? Yes. So I'm sure once things settle down and mum and dad are in a, a routine and Babby is in a routine, it'll get back to a bit of normality, won't it, Jasper? Hey. So he's come today, literally, to have the lot taken off. So <clears throat> a short, very short cut up onto the head, body off, tail off, just the booties left on, just to give mum and dad the chance of... Uh, not having to do the grooming side of the things while they've got the hands full with new baby. So we get this quite a lot. So you just need to stop shedding everywhere, don't you? And <laughs> stop getting matted. So he is matted down his chest. And of course he is very, very thick. And it wouldn't take long for this to start matting. It's not matted yet, but it's very, very thick. So we're going to start with the clippers. As I say, I've done him before and he's very well behaved with the clippers, so I know what he's like. Yeah, there you go, baby. Oh, that's a good boy. That's such a good boy, isn't it? Right, Mr. Let's get started. Hey? I've got him on this side. Then I'm in the right position, aren't I? The Persians always love to see what you're doing. Okay. I know when I went to London and I did my training, when we had to put them into the bath to give them a bath, a wet bath, the Persians would be the ones that sit in the bath with their neck completely turned, looking at you to see what you were doing. Okay. And they just love any amount of fusses, don't you? Look at that face. Isn't he cute? Isn't he cute? I do like the Persians, I must admit. I like them all, really. But you lot. <laughs> Super gorgeous. Right, let's make a start then. So I'm going a bit higher today than I would normally go with the, the back of the head. I just need to get a little line where we can go in from, Mr. Good boy. And off we go. Good boy. That's a good boy. Good lad. Good boy.
Good boy. Are you busy looking at Steve? <laughs> oh yeah. You're a little curious boy. You are, aren't you? Gosh, this is incredibly thick coat, isn't it, Jasper? Hmm. You do all that. Woo. What a good lad. So if you're new to the channel and to watching my videos, thank you for joining us and for those who have been with us for a while now, thank you for your support as well. So you can give the videos some likes for me, it helps get other people to see them as well, which is always the intention of the channel. Yes, good boy. Are you getting a little bit wriggly? Hey, where do you think you're trying to go to? Are you trying to sneak off the end? Are you trying to get in my pocket or something? Hey. <laughs> Come on, mister. Woo! Woo, he says I'm off. I'm off. <laughs> So yeah, we've hit over 500 subscribers in the last week, which is amazing. Um, so thank you to everybody who subscribed. Channel's growing beautifully, nice and organically. Yeah, what's up, Papa? What's up? What's up, Papa? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Come here, cheeky <laughs> bum. Oh, what's going on with you? I'm looking out that window and I'm thinking, can I escape? <laughs> can I escape up there? Mm -hmm. Come on. Good boy. Let's get the list off you. There's something got your curiosity out there, hasn't there? Mm -hmm. Let's carry on. Oh, <laughs> there's definitely something he likes out that way. Isn't there? Or is that the direction Daddy went? Looking for your dad? <laughs> Come on, settle down for me now. Oh, good boy. That's a good boy. Okay, let's go again. Oh, do you know what I said to Dad? Second visit, they're always so much calmer because they know what to expect. And what's happening here? Second visit, someone's getting ultra wriggly and trying to get off the table. <laughs> okay, so I'm just having to keep one hand here, just a couple of fingers around the front of his chest, just to stop him going forwards. <laughs> Never any falls with cats. Always very gentle, let them move around, uh, of course, unless they're on full attack and then you have to be a bit more careful. But the more you try and really dictate to a cat, the worse they'll get, they'll go into a panic. Yes. Where are you going, mister? Well, that's quite a nice position. That's a nice stretch. No, but I don't want you climbing up my shoulders. No. So, <laughs> just on the very end, it's just doing a little tidy up over the top of Jasper.
We say it's nice and smooth. There you go, baby. So this little fella has done nothing but to wriggle. Have you? You've been a right wriggler today. So literally, as you can see, he's not got any bib, it's just his head left. His full tail's gone. Not even a pom-pom. Hey. Oh dear. He says, where's that gone? This enormous tail. There is so little under here, but he's been a wriggler. Crikey, he really has. So he's been hard work today because he's not been keen on sitting still whatsoever. So even his legs, his, his body was okay on the top. And then as soon as we tried to turn him left or right or do the tummy or do his front legs or his hind legs, he wasn't having any of it. And normally, Steve can stand them up on the hind legs. He can just sort of do that. And I can do a nice clip. And you weren't having it today, were you? No. She wasn't feeling it today, Auntie Nita. Really wasn't feeling it. I mean, he's settled now, but what a wriggly wriggly. I know. No one will believe me when they see you here. They won't. Yeah, you're such a good boy.